number two, co-patron, Bianca Stefan. Also lovely to see Bianca out there enjoying herself. And at, and at number three, co-patron, Alex Stone. Another great hand, prodigy, great player. And at the back, the powerhouse of the team, the four-goaler, Seb Hancock, son of our polo manager, Marcus Hancock, who is injured. This is off the stick towards the German school end. Right, Alex Stone, near side back. Oh, she's still got the ball there. Nice, gets it away from the number three, Mark Linder, who was on her tail. Oh, and who comes flying through. That is a magnificent hit. That was, so it's a hit out for the, uh, the Purples, the Tattington team. And that will be Seth Hancock with the ball. Look at that lovely, lovely shot. He finds Alex Stone. Alex has got Mark... Uh, Beside her, tailing her. Alex, one more hit, it goes slightly askew. Can she recover? I think she has lost her line, maybe. That has to go near side shot, but you haven't got that direct line. And scooped away by Mark Lindner, playing beautifully, watching every step of the way. Another clever little backhander. It's, uh, it is tip for tap, tip for Tattleton. George Crone in there. And he's tussling with the four goaler that is the powerhouse of the Hancock family. Look at that belting shot, scoops it high. Alex Stone is always, always ready. And she hits it forward, and I think that's going to be slightly wide. Can't quite get there. Nice tactics. Well, whether you're on the Pickwick side or in the clubhouse, whether you're down by the classic cars. You've got a great view of this wonderful play. And just to remind the lady in pink, just to stand back from the boards, please. You go. His mum and support, what a nice family uh, effort it is. It's fabulous. Okay, so this is Seb Hancock, and this is what he's going to do. Boy, what a great, great shot. Who's there first? Looks like Bianca Stefan. Unfortunately for Logie is there. Does a lovely near side back hand. Cuts out all the action. Turns it around and now it's George Cronin on the turn. And uh, he's got nobody ahead of him. Come on, chaps. Where are you? Well, he drops the ball very cleverly for Logie, but Logie couldn't quite get to it in time. It's Alex Stone. Always on the watch out. Always ready. <laughs> She has a six sets. <laughs> Good play. Alex Stone on the balls. Has the balls. Whistle goes. But as I always say, we're not Right. So smacks it high, smacks it firm. I think that's a, a, between the pegs. The uh, goal judge waves his flag a lot. Everybody in the clubhouse happy. Fueled with all the requirements uh, of the afternoon. Right, that's uh, Seth Hancock. And he's shut out there by George Cronin. But he's still got the ball. It falls nicely for him. Great play by Logie. Coming across with the near side. Tim Hancock just delicately whacks that ball forward and it looks like it's a classic pro four goal, pro goal. It's easy. It's yeah. a new man. Right, well you're standing in that case, I'll remember that. Yeah. So you Mark, man, man. if you forget it, I'm not an old woman. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, right, so the ball is moving once more and it's out. And, Pushed forward, not really pushed as well by uh, Seth Hancock. Nice near side, forehand by Alex Stone. She's being pushed all the way by Logie Anderson. She packs it to her teammate Bianca Stefan, but it's cut out by, uh, I think that's George Cronin there. And he's got the wing of the field, overcooks it, wound that up and uh, discharged, but didn't quite have the sights lined up. Easy to criticise. There's no criticism for me. I've done millions of those. In fact, that's the majority of my shots. Right, now it's back with the back. Back to the future. Well, it's nicked off him by Mark Linder. How clever was that? Brilliant. Sam Hancock was caught a scance there. And the ball falls beautifully, wonderfully, for George Cronin. And that's a great heave-ho shot all the way down. Can he do it under the net? What's he going to do? Cool customer. 
through the post and it's the first riposte from the Whites, the Avengers seeking... <laughs> okay, right, then we're once more in action. That is Abby Logan. Sorry. Abby and Logan are not the same person, though they play like a team. That's the two pros tussling. No, is it, yes it is, or is it... Uh, that is no good. Chasing him out. And the bell goes, and they've only got 30 seconds. The runoff period. Can't quite see who's there with that. Is that Logan? Yeah. Great play by Logie Anderson. That is Logie. He looks so comfortable. What a brilliant posture on that horse. A nice second shot in there in hot pursuit. And he's back there by George Cronin, which placing himself just in case that uh, Mr. Hancock tries to do something that they don't like. And Mr. Hancock does something they don't like. He was, I'm not quite sure. The legs, of course, so encourage people not to uh, swing wildly from the line out. Right, that is uh, in the capable sticking hands of George Cronin. He tries to do a cut shot through. Doesn't really get the, uh, the hit on that. And Mark Lynn uh, is there trying to assist. A little bit of Harry and Hansen over in that corner. Moving away from the goal that the tackles have told. Oh, it's now turned brilliantly by Logie Anderson. That Dangerous for Tackleton. Once more, scooped out, brought round by the, the back. Said Hancock. They all move up, knowing what's happening next. And here it comes. But Seb chooses to push it, push it, and he keeps going. There's nobody ahead of him there. And so, uh, sadly for him, he loses the ball. Can't turn on it fast enough. Abby Anderson sneaks it away from him, back by her son Logie. He pushes it forward. Once more, it's a tussle with Seb. That is a tussle. A tackle to tussle. <laughs> Oh, brilliant play by Logie Anderson, that's great, taking on a full goaler and leaving him for dead. Wow, it falls too. The Tappleton guys to clear it out, he's dangerously hovering in front of that goal. Who comes in but uh, George Cronin, can he get it over? There's a flag waving in the distance. Ball goes through, not too far. It's caught in the sticking uh, area. Once more, it is Sir Hancock straight into action. Came in court. George Cronin's with him. Yes, George puts him up. Just enough to uh, make him miss hit that. It's picked up by the very capable young Logie. Back brilliantly by Mark Linda. They're all sloppy, can't quite drag it out. But it is good polo, and they're really at pace with each other. Alex Stone tracking. Lady Anderson comes through. Uh, I, don't, I think that's just for. He's got a lot of work to do from there. Caught in that corner. Back by Mark Linda. He turns it around very clear. Uh, but it's not the time. And I'm not sure. Well, that's an undefended penalty. The ball travelling sadly for the Lakers. Mark Linda and that trouble. supporting George Cronin. He brings it back the other way, all that effort, up, down, up, down. That's why Polo Teach is so fit. Backed up there, George Cronin, picked up the cute angle, turning around with Bianca Stefan. Giving him a bit of a hard time there. Which is very unlikely. Keep at it, Bianca. Well done, and that's, that's good because although he's moving forward, he's not moving forward steadily, he is now. She's still with him. Great play, Bianca Stefan. Hugging almost that uh, two goal play. The horse is looking very much better this week. They were very fresh last week, of course. 
couldn't really get into our sky for the season because of the rain, water logging off the grounds, which in turn means that the ponies don't get quite the exercise they should get. But it's beginning to look uh, a lot like summer. Look at this brilliant play by Seb Hancock all the way. Can he go all the way? No, he can't. The commentator's death knell. So it's now going back the other way. A nice push forward, and here comes, here comes George Cronin. Good play, interplay there by George Cronin and Logie Anderson. Now it's sound for them, it's fallen to Seb Hancock once more, and it's really back and forth. Who's, who's going to get their first number one? Come on. Hard luck. That was a Arsenal Deliri. Deliri is about that shot, I'm sure. But uh, best forgotten, it's like golf. You never remember your bad shots. You're missing what's going to come next, so don't worry about it, Arsenal. It's forgotten. Well, I'll keep talking about it. it is. Who's this? It looks like. Is that Logie? Sneaky, sneaky play in front of goal. Back by Mike Linder, he pushes it round the post. It went across the goal, and Alex Stone is the beneficiary, backed by Seth Hancock himself, harried by the George Crane in the back for the, uh, the Avengers. Good, well dropped for Logie Anderson. That's great interplay, that's really skillful. I love that. Logie knew what he was going to do, and backed by his mark. There's no play going on, so I guess that's the end of chapter two. Alex Stone and Seb Hancock. He was thinking about the near side there, I can see it, because he knows he's got uh, Logie on his tail. He's going to take his time, hopes it through. That was classic, classic form. Of course, our renewable power of energy uh, that we uh, make sure we're conforming with all the new regulations. And whilst I'm talking twaddle, Seb Hancock says, Stop talking to him. I'm on with the polo, and he is on with the polo. He goes out far out. Well, look at that great under the next shot. Oh, that's a magnificent goal. Whoa. You deserve some credit there. You had something to do with the making of your son's polo. And he's on the ball again with that blue helmet. Pushes it forward. And this time, the, his teammates know that they need to be forward. And that's really good. They've got to play on that line. Abby Anderson backhands it nicely and neatly to Logie, who picks it up. Can't quite get around him. Tendentious. He's got the line, but it's taken off. I'm a second guess the umpire. I'm sure it's something might happen there. That's a great shot. It could be another goal. Has he got the legs? He goes all the way. It's a daisy cut and a kick. It's another great shot. All goes through. It's this time George Cronin. He wants to emulate his peer. His peer is there. Here he goes. George isn't giving up there. And he's back by Abby Anderson, who pushes it through brilliantly. And that is another goal. What great teamwork. Fabuloso. You can see exactly what's going on. Bird's eye view. The commentator doesn't have to worry about his cheap glasses that he got from Specsavers. It is once more Seb Hancock with a brilliant exemplary backhand with power. And Alex Stern sees it, reads the ball, reads the line, doesn't quite get onto it. It's cut out uh, promptly by George Cronin, which is smart thinking because Alex, on a charge, is almost unstoppable. Uh, that's good, riding off Alex Stone, brilliant, very clever, bundling almost, uh, young Logie off the original hammer charge. Right, that is a 60 yard hit, and sadly it goes out, way out, to the left, and down to the Nice hit out, Mark Linder steadies himself, readies himself. 
looking up who's up there, who's moving forward, what options have I got? Alex Stone, he drops it brilliantly to George Crane, and that was nice, very clever. And it meant that Alex Stone was taken out of the way. George Crane shuts it, pushes it. And that's Abby Emerson there in the driving seat. They're back by Logie, that's great play, and they do it together. Ball in, Ruth is not messing around, we know. You like to start early. Seth Hancock playing on that ball brilliantly. Fabulous. George Crowley can't keep up with him, and he hangs him enough to put him off. And George has got it, and Abby's going up with that flowing blonde hair. Well, that's a great action, it's a straight shot, it's a great shot on the left, but it's slightly to the right, down into that corner, and that gave Seth Hancock time to move across without danger of crossing. And he turns it around and brings it up, George is alongside him, and that's a powerful, beautiful long hit. And the bell goes, and there's time, and Bianca Stefan is being ridden out. Now that seems to be alright, because I've not heard the umpire's whistles, which is good news. Mark Linda, but that's taken away from him too. Seth Hancock. The time is running down the clock. The atomic clock is on you. The protons, electrons, and photons are working against this player. Can you get one more goal? Bianca Stefan and sadly, it ain't to be. Oh, it is a load of crap. Wasn't designed with romance in mind. Racing car. Okay, Mark Linder, I think it is, with that ball. Is that Mark? No, it is. George Brady. Okay, so Hancock in action once more. Pushing that ball forward with a nice hit. It falls nicely, though, for George Brady. Turns it around, moves fast up, get up there, and Logie is alive for the challenge. But he's overridden it. Gets away with it, to nobody with it. Pumps it forward, creates space. And now they're going to go up. Oh, he doesn't get in. He will be ticking himself off. And it's attracted unwanted attention from Alex Stone. Here he goes, now he's on the chance. That's it, he got that. Perfectly right back tonight. And Mark Linder sees the opportunity and tries to seize the day. He can't add to Australia. Yeah, that's a great shot. Back straight through the middle of the post. Fabulous. So here we go. They've got to do something. And uh, what is their back? Strike. Need to strike. Good play there between. Ooh. Hustling there between George Crane and Sophie Hancock, and it falls down to the Atlantic Stone and she pushes it out wide. She's going to go round, has a cut shot, and it's a good shot, but it's uh, possibly not what she exactly wanted to play this match. She's still there. She backs it, but it's only behind her. But it's seesaw, that's what we find. George Crane, now that is brilliant, passes it forward to Mark Linder. Mark, alert as ever, he's going to get some traction on that ball. He's going to back his horse over towards the boards. Now he's got the four goaler breathing down his neck. Not in the plan, that wasn't. Sticks raised aloft. Sir Pancock takes it very casually down that uh, far side, and now it's got it on the right side, but not better to do the near side. Shot. Not easy at speed. <laughs> what have we got? What have we got? We've got a uh, simple tap, 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 turn. They need a goal with three and a half minutes to go, and they've got to do something here. There are two ways about it, otherwise they're not going to be picking up that beautiful gold cup that I see glitching in the sunlight down at the gate of the clubhouse. If, if you see that, that's enough to drive you insane, get you up and running, give you the ambition to do it. And here is Seth Hancock, a man on a mission. They've 
Avengers team working hard to defend the goal at the handhouse end. The ever flow, that's a great ball. Alex Stone. That is fabulous. A great goal on the top team. The next 24 hours. It's here, it's in the next two minutes, and they're off. They're going. Two minutes doesn't seem like a long time, but it definitely lofts it, but it's uh, out left. It doesn't have the legs or the left. You've been to you. Great shot. Oh, Alex Stone, very clever, very wise to that. Hard luck, Alex, just overrun it slightly. Hard Lindbergh brings it out for the Avengers. Alex backs it, can they turn? It's difficult, yes! No. Well, there's one minute, 20 odd seconds left. And it's the ball is with George Cronin. He pushes it forward. Seth Hancock knows what he's got to do. Very much done with it, but he's going to try and turns it around smartly and sharply. Now he's going up. Can they stick with him? He's got George Cronin sticking to him. Brilliant turn work there by Logan. He's got to do an inside contact shot. And he does it beautifully. Great effect, but not for too long because Serbs Hancock passes it up smartly and tartly to Alex Stone. Great backhand by George Crowley. It's back and forth, pell mill. There ain't much time left. It's 30 odd seconds on that clock. Seb Hancock turns it around in this last few seconds of the goal cup final here at Hampola Club. The excitement continues. He's been just side of that goal, he brings his stick. And the Avengers bring it out. It's Abby Anderson with that white hat. Back by Mark Linder, and that is a powerhouse shot. And he's cleared the danger, and it looks like the Avengers are going to be the Avengers. They're going to do it. And so fighting all the way. Great play. That is fabulous. And that is the bell, and that is the end of four. Interesting. One team with a four goal, the other team with two goals.